That was sexy, but whatever you shot me with is insane. Just a big disclaimer, okay? This video is a long video, alright? I want you to understand that. And I also want you to understand, though, that it is full of very useful information. Especially if you're a newer player. I, all I'm going to say is that this video is for people that are seriously trying to get better at playing Tarkov. This is not for, like, a casual player, okay? This is for a person that literally is like, I don't want to... I want to learn how to not die. I want to learn how to be the those level 50 chads that fucking kill everybody and wipe a whole entire map. This is for those people. It's not for those casual players that play other games. Okay, this is for like the people that literally just play Tarkov and they want to get better at the game. So, um, if this isn't the video, if, if that's not the type of video you're looking for, just 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 move on. All right. But if you are looking to get better at this game and a whole, continue watching. Maybe watch part of the video now, part of it later. But I promise you, it will be worth it. Let's get on with the video. And one more thing, okay? Um, I just want to give a general idea of what the video is going to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to be going in an offline mode. Okay. I want to say it again in the video. We're going to go in an offline mode. I'm going to like show my thought process as I go through the whole entire map. All right. And then later on in the video, towards the middle of the video, I'm going to actually be going over footage two like two, like 10 minute videos, but I'm going to cut, I'm always going to edit them down. And then we're going to go through it and we're going to, I'm going to show the highlights of these videos and it's literally going to show exactly what I'm talking about from what I just explained. So you're going to see, you're going to have me like explain, you know, what to do in these certain situations. And then you're going to see a video of me doing it in these certain situations. And I'm going to completely, completely explain it as we go. Now let's get into the video. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna load into Shoreline offline mode, okay? And I'm gonna pretty much just show my thought process when I, like, like when I first get into the game and what I what I do when I when I get there, and and then once we get into the shoreline, into the resort specifically, because we're gonna go around the outside of resort of of resort as well. But we're gonna first start with resort because I feel like that's the most intimidating thing for people. And once we get into that, then we're gonna once we're done with resort then we're gonna move out and we're gonna deal with the other stuff because i feel like it's a lot more simple a lot easier for people to to a lot easier for me to explain anyway so let's get on with it all right here we go we're loading in all right so we got this spawn so the first thing that would be going through my head is holy shit this is a shit garbage spawn because um and the reason why i say that is because first of all you got spawns all to your right there maybe two or three spawns that direction and if and this is if you're going to this is if you're going to resort okay so we're just we're going to base this off we're going to resort. if you were just going around the map i would head this direction first because you're not going to find anyone in this direction until you get to about the gas station so you could probably get to pier be the first one there loot that shit up and if then you got to play it carefully after that but since we're going to resort i instantly painkiller if you have an sj6 uh, i would suggest using that if you have more money um but uh you don't have to but it's it may it, give you will it'll let's just say it will Hiding your chances of survival on a spawn like this, just because it's so bad and there's so many spawns to your right, you, you're pretty much going to have people that spawn right beside weather station. Sometimes they run up to the top of weather station and they snipe down. So if you have an SG6, you'll get there quicker. All right, I have max endurance, so it doesn't even really matter for me. But like for especially for people that don't have max endurance, you definitely might want to fucking think about doing that because it, it could save your life and save a lot of time. Because like in this, in for the first like couple seconds of us running to the resort your life is not really in your hands like i you got to keep an eye on your right side usually w w usually when i'm running i run like this and i zigzag the whole time you'll see landmark do this um decent amount where he's just zigzagging you're like wondering what the fuck he's doing he's just zigzagging because he doesn't want to get a headshot every so often i'll keep my head you're actually in tarkov they made it it's really hard to die if you if you don't get a headshot but yeah anyways if you're coming up here as you're coming up to this hill i've killed people right around here okay when you're coming up to this hill, you want to stare at... You want to literally, as you're running by, you want to literally look at it. Okay? You don't want to ever run in a straight line. You want to look, be looking up at it, and then look. And you want to get close to the hill as possible. 
And this is usually where I run. Sometimes, depending if depending if I have a feeling that there might be someone over here, especially if there's someone at Radio Town, I hear shots there. I'll fucking run. If I hear shots actually at Radio Tower, I usually am safe because I know that the people that spawned there didn't decide to run here. They decided to run back here and try to kill those people at that spawn. If you're getting spawn. close to red, don't let it go to red. Don't go to red while you're running because if someone starts shooting at you while you're in red, you're fucked. You're, you're dead. You're, you're, you're literally dead. If you don't get like one of the best spawns, so there's a spawn like right there and spawn over there too. Those are like three. There's three spawns that are super close. Okay. If you don't get any of those spawns, all right, don't bother going out this main way. And when I say don't bother going this main way, I mean don't come up this hill right here. Many a times I have died going straight up this go this goddamn hill. It's one of the worst things to do. You, if you're late, all right. If you really want to survive, if you're just about PvP and you want to take your chances, do it. Be by all means, learn the hard way. Okay, <laughs> I don't mind. All right. Learn the hard way. I'm just going to run up here just to show you what I normally... This is like, if I get the best spawn, I'm running straight up here. And there's also a way to run up on this side. Um, right right here. You just run up. You usually run straight from here. Run up there. Boom, boom, boom. And you're up, okay? And if you do get the best spawn, just run straight in. And just be, be careful, because if someone has an SJ6 and they have a close spawn, they can beat you there, even if you have a close spawn. But anyway, if we get a shitty spawn like the one we just got... What I will do is I'll run up here, and for the most part, especially if it's quiet, if it's loud and stuff, I hear lots of gunshots up there, I might head up just because of the fact that everyone's distracted shooting at each other. But if it's quiet, that means almost 100% someone's waiting, camping, being a rat. You don't want to deal with that. So just run around the backside. This is definitely Lift safe for a bit, okay? Especially when I... I'm used to this push now, so technically I just I just run in now because I'll... I usually look at the windows and I'll, I'll know where to go. But say you hear gunshots. Say you hear. Cause one thing you gotta also be um, aware of is that Sanator can spawn west wing, admin, or east. Okay. If you hear gunshots and lots of explosions on east, I would suggest not running there right away. Okay. So we're gonna go up here now. What you wanna do is you wanna move across here faster than they can shoot you from any of these windows. Okay. Cause I've gotten sprayed down like that before. And this is the push I've, I've always watched here for someone watching with their head. Shoot once, and you get in. Instantly, first check. I always check here. That's my first check, okay? First check, there. Hard, you hard, you kind of hard, hard check that, and then you jiggle back. All right? You get right, you, you peek, that is, you peek. Another thing that I've noticed a lot of people that are new to the game are not good. They'll like, they'll be like this, and, they, and they'll peek it like this. Dude, you don't want to peek anything like that. You want to hard peek it, like, boom. As if there was someone there. Literally be prepared to shoot. Like you're about to shoot, okay? Then after that's clear, I'll usually jiggle peek that real quick. Because I've gotten killed from a guy right on the stairs camping this area. So I now, from now on, I always jiggle peek that like really quickly. Just to see if there's someone. Then I run through here usually. Check to your right immediately. You know, you check to your right. See if there's someone in there. You know, check up here. Now we're going to get closer. If you don't see anyone, okay? So you look at those windows. You know what I mean? Jiggle peek it. And then what I usually do is I'll throw a nade down here. I don't have nades on me right now to demonstrate. But you throw... I will literally toss a nade. Here's something that I've noticed a lot of people don't do. They don't clear with nades. Nades are not for killing people. I mean, you can kill the people with them. But they're meant for clearing rooms, okay? You want to throw a nade down the hallway. And as you throw the nade down that hallway, you want to push up. Make sure, obviously, no one pushes you. But usually, there's if you're quick... There's usually not anyone here. But say say you hear a fight happening right here. Okay? You have two options. Okay? Whenever I peek this, I jiggle peek that. Because people like to hold right there. People love to hold right there. I don't know what it is. So what I usually do, a lot of people, when I used to peek this, I used to peek like that. Don't peek like that. You want to peek like this. You want to peek with the ability to, 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 to like start shooting immediately. You don't want to peek like this. So that's not accurate. It's not accurate, okay? And if someone's ADS, they're gonna fuck you up. But what I'll do is I'll jiggle. I'll, I'll usually jiggle peek it like that. If no one's there, then I just hold like that. You know what I mean? Cause I, cause I, I I'm listening. If I hear any movement here, I'm automatically gonna turn here ADS, and then like just you know. Another thing peek that. that I've noticed. Here's another strat that I've learned from other people doing it to me, and is when you leave this room, don't leave it open. If I'm over here okay don't leave that 110 open if i'm over here okay and i see 110 open okay like i usually ch check 
if I see, look, if it looks like 110's open right now, I'm not even, I, I'm, I'm gonna throw an, I'm like, if I think it's looted, I'll throw a nade down here, alright, and if I think it's looted, I'm just gonna run straight by 110, and I'm gonna go for the, for 226, because I know you're there, or, what I usually do is I'll flank around, I'll flank around, I flank around, lay down, wait for your ass to fucking come out of 226, and then I'll fucking just shoot you. Simple as that. And that's just called being, that's just called tactical awareness in the game, right? So what you want to do is when you leave 110, you want your enemies to give away their position. So you shut that door, then you go to 226, okay? Now, when you're leaving 226, okay, this is another way, place where I get people. You'll see Landmark. When he checks this shit, he checks really quick. Jiggle peeks to see if they shoot. Jiggle peeks again. Runs out, you know what I mean? And then quickly get to cover, okay? You don't want to stay on that hallway. Two, second floor hallway is one of the most dangerous hallways you can stay in. You, Whenever you're in a gunfight, say with someone on the other side, don't ever try to push them down this hallway. It's 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 almost suicide, okay? I'm just going to put that out there. And this is where the sound um, the sound uh, technique is. Where, as this is where I'm going to show um, the sound technique and uh, how that can affect you. Um, this is like, uh, not sound technique, but like, this is where I show how you can abuse the sound in Tarkov, especially in Resort, to your advantage, okay? This is what all the good players do. This is literally what all the level 50s are doing. If they're, if they're good level 50s, they are abusing the sound. They know exactly what they're doing. This is what Landmark does. This is what they all do. They all know how the sound works in this game, okay? So, they are already, you, like, all the good players know the range of what anyone anyone can hear, so that's what they're using to, to their advantage, because, you know, it's the only variable in, in a gunfight. If you have two guys that are good with their spray, you know, that equally are matched, you got to look for the variables in order to kill your opponent. you got to look for the weakness, okay? And this is one of the deciding factors that can help you win a fight, Gunfighter, okay? All right. Either be it from this side or the other side. You don't want to... Sometimes if it's on a third floor, if I have grenades, I can push third floor because there's enough objects in the way that like you that I can use as cover, okay? But usually, if you, as I said before, pushing a hallway when they already know that you're in that hallway is like almost suicide. You want to get close as possible to them so that you can shoot them in the face, all right? So what I'll do is I'll shoot a couple times to draw their attention, get their aggro, to get get them aggro now. But now. I'll run down the stairs. I will, and I, as I said, never go on the second floor. You run down the stairs. All right. Obviously, keep doing your checks. Like check as if there's your. You gotta expect. You gotta every single aim. You gotta just keep checking as if there's people there. Okay. If if they're a smart people, if they're a smart player, okay. As you're coming here, if they're a smart player. All right. If they're a smart player, and they're over here, okay, and they were shooting at you. They were shooting at you, and then, like, they noticed you're not there anymore, and they hear you running, and it sounds like you're underneath them. They're gonna... Smart players will run down. This is what I do. I'll jiggle peek that. If I don't see you, I'm literally going straight down, because I already know that you're gonna be there. And I'm gonna shoot. Like, I'm literally pre-aiming pre right here. Right here. This area right here. Because that's where you're usually gonna be. And if you're not there, you're gonna be there any second. And then... And, and you know what I mean? So, what you wanna do as you approach that, is you wanna keep ADSing every so often at head level and then if they're not there one here's the here's the here's the here's the tip here's the pro tip that i'll show um about the audio and how to abuse it and what they do to abuse it okay staircase audio is really garbage in this game very 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 garbage okay so once you literally soon as you soon as you get to the stairs Instantly you go from being easily heard to like where the fuck did he go? Where is he? Is he above me? Is he below me? Is he beside me? The audio was really bad and only experienced players are gonna really know exactly where you're coming from because they're just gonna they're gonna they're not gonna know they're not gonna know from hearing the sound. They're not gonna know from a sound um cue. They're gonna just know from experience and knowing what is happening, they're gonna be like, yo, that guy's fucking doing that flank. They're gonna know. They're gonna fucking come and try to shoot you. So you gotta be expect. For, you gotta be ready for an experienced player, okay? But for new players, they're not gonna know anything, and they're not gonna know any idea. They're not gonna have any idea what's the fuck's going on. You wanna check that, obviously, and then you wanna jiggle peek that. If they're not there, they're gonna be somewhere here, right? But that's that's my two cents on hey, on fighting someone, thing. okay? And they were shooting at you there, and they don't know where you are. 
you gotta use the advantage of sound. So what I'll usually do is say I was fighting someone there. I'll run around. Check that obviously. Run around. And here's another huge tip. When you jump and hit the ground, there is no sound. And I some people if someone comes if someone comes into this video saying that they patched it, they fucking didn't. Because I literally just did it yesterday. So unless they patched it yesterday, <laughs> like like it's not true. You jump through here. Okay, I would run to the left. Maybe they won't fit, hear you. They'll hear you're running, but the things they won't know. See, people don't understand. They'll be like, oh, he'll hear you, so he'll, he'll know you're there. No, 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 no. See, the audio is so shit, okay, that they'll hear you running, and they'll think maybe he went upstairs. Maybe he's going for some weird flank there. Or, you know, or maybe he's running away. They won't know. Especially if you drop down, they're going to think you're on second or third floor still. And then you can just run up to here. And then this is where you go into your, you know, your tactical mode. You know, they're not gonna expect you to be right, right here. And if they peek, brrr, you just put, you just put them, put them in the dirt, put them in the dirt. Say I'm on, say I'm in a fight here, in um, and 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 they're pushing me hard. I'll run up to the top of the stairs, right? They'll hear me go like there. Run here, okay? Always make sure you check west wing. Try not to get shot there from there. And then I'll just drop down. They won't hear you. They won't hear you. And then you just literally just go slow crouch, easily. And the thing is that they're going to fucking come up the stairs. They're going to be checking all this back area area here. And as soon as one peeks out, you just instantly kill them. And then you push. You don't hesitate. You push up. Right? And you pre-peek pre, pre -peek that as if there's somebody there. If there's no one there, you peek that. By the way, if you hear any movement like above you or below you, it means they're in the stairwell and they're about to come out on your stoke floor. Don't hesitate. If you hear any movement above you or below you and it doesn't sound like it's from coming from over here... If they're in the stairwell and they're about to fucking come down so literally just fucking pre-aim that in fact i would pull back here i'd, I'd come back because you see you, how you have peeker's advantage you can easily get back in cover without getting shot i would all right next west wing a lot of information i'm gonna try to have to cut i'm gonna try to cut it down when you're going across this try to get across as quickly as possible i usually only go across that bridge if it's early into the raid or late into the raid not mid-tier if there's like if you notice there's people over there fighting, or people around here fighting, and uh, you know what I mean, or you hear movement but you don't hear fighting, you don't want to cross that shit. And you want to be careful because people will try to shoot you from here too. It's just dangerous to cross here. You gotta cross at your own discretion. Usually when I'm crossing over, I'll cross over going to admin, then I'll come through here. You know, and I cross from outside or inside depending on what I think is safest. All right. Admin is a whole other thing to itself. Um. And I'll explain that last time. times where I'll be like, I'll even like cross over here and I'll hear wood. If you hear any wood and it's in that direction, you already know they're on second floor and on that hallway. I don't know what it is. But it's just, that's the audio. If you, it, for the mo for the most part, like obviously take this with a grain of salt. Okay. If you hear wood and it's in that direction, they're on second floor inside that hallway. Okay. So now what you got to do is you got to, what I'll, this is what I've done and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to show you some footage of me actually abusing this okay this is it works really fucking well you always want to when you come around this corner i've had people camp in there you check this hard like as if someone's crouching right there always check that hard aim here all right then this is something i see in landmark do okay a lot of people try to hold from here dumb super dumb okay this is like as dumb as it gets like like i i i plastered a guy literally against the wall right here he was literally holding this angle he thought he had a beautiful angle it wasn't a beautiful angle because it's too exposed and you can't run like once you're here crouch if you're here just crouching if someone starts to spray at you like maybe you can get away with it if you stand up and run to the side maybe maybe but if they're good they're gonna splatter you okay what i see in landmark dude was very smart i've gotten lots of kills like this you stand up you literally just walk up on top of this guard at while ads now you have clear aim all the way down the hallway and you just use um, and, and you just literally look down the hallway waiting for people to fucking move you hear any movement in those halls you just keep you just keep watching they'll come out eventually and you just go you know you just fucking headshot them okay draw their aggro so now they think you're still there you want to run all the way back here they're going to hear you running but they're not going to know where the fuck you're going okay and you're going to skip everything you're going to go downstairs obviously just check your corners okay i'm going to and i'm going to like show you guys a video of this um in this video it's you're gonna see a footage of me doing this two people okay as soon as you get to here you want to slow slow crouch okay 
and maybe drop your bag before you get to here okay i actually i'll actually run to right here and then i'll slow crouch all right because now by then they've heard you running but they're not sure if you're on third floor they don't know if you're on first floor a lot of times they'll think you're on first floor okay they're trying to flank okay they won't expect you to go in the basement not many people are cerebral enough to actually think of that and what you want to do is just you just want to like chill here slowly coming up the stairs because as i said the audio is shit so even if it sounds like it's loud you're loudly slow crouching slow crouching slow crouching in a fucking staircase is one of the cheapest things you can do but it's effective okay and i'm just gonna i'm just this video is about how to survive in shoreline and abuse the audio in the game okay fighting a squad all right if you're fighting a squad you want to get an easy kill you want to get at least one or two easy kills so the last guy or the last two guys are going to be easier to kill all right you don't have to deal as much so you know you want to ads before you come here and then peek you you barely want to peek you want to have your body you want to be barely peek so if you unpeek you're not going to die because you know desync and you will you will die to desync so you want to wait they peek brr, you spray them down so another thing people don't another thing people don't realize you can throw nades over here right and you can spray here gain their aggro but say they push up like that a lot of people don't know you can literally float you can literally come through here and then do the same peak but the thing is that as i said you want to this will fuck with them they're going to expect you behind when even though this is a bad peak if you're behind here and they peak this they're not going to expect you to be right here and you can usually get a f easy kill oh, that way. Okay. i'm going to show footage of me actually um using this technique against people and how effective it actually is um so yeah enjoy that and then we're going to come back and we're going to finish up i'm going to finish up with uh checking out admin and uh the rest of the map and how i would usually tactically try to survive because this is this is how i would survive um both east and west wing because these are the most heavily pvp contested areas of the map although the other parts are quite easy to, uh, it's a very easy general way to survive and i'll explain that and it's probably going to be very similar to like how i would survive woods or customs outside when we're inside buildings it's completely different from outside a building okay so um just check this video out um um try to gain as much information as you can see what i was just explaining and then uh we'll go from there all right so we're gonna we're gonna watch these i have two videos that i recorded okay two different raids i use the same exact technique we're gonna kind of like go quickly through them and uh we're gonna dissect this shit okay so here we go in a minute haven't seen you in the chat in a minute okay we need to move we need to move we need to move. we got we got a good spawn here yeah so in this situation it's uh this is one of the best spawns you can get in the game i pop an sj i've been watching anyway. oh okay 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 just because like um I, i'm glad i'm glad I that you said something though path. i was start, i was actually wondering about where you went i was like i wonder i was like wondering if you were still watching me i was like dude where did that guy go man we used to talk man i like having conversations so like essentially i popped the sj6 just gonna reinfer that i popped the sj6 even though I got one of the closest spawns, I popped it because I really want to get in there fast, okay? So this is the difference. This is like time is the essence when you're trying to get to Resort because Resort has fat loot, but it takes one little S castling, one guy with like no armor to run in there, also popping an SJ6 with the closest spawn. He'll run in there and loot everything before you get a fucking chance to get in there. So I pop my SJ6. I'm running there as quickly as possible. I'm uh, using the MPX just because uh, why the fuck not? And uh, here we go keeps me keeps it, it keeps me it keeps me um fresh whenever i'm talking it makes even when i die i don't feel that bad when i'm just talking to people because it's just chill you know what i mean it's playing video games and hanging out oh really oh okay so you're always lurking me notice how i skipped so I skipped that because I, I did say in earlier in the video that like you should check that but since I know I'm gonna be one of the first people there I'm almost guaranteeing you that no one would be there so I just fucking sprinted right past it notice how I jiggle peek that yeah jiggle peek it hold the angle just in case listen I don't think there's anyone to be there so I just fucking go straight for the door I listen while that, I open that the makes door. sense I hear somebody outside the fence not sure how geared he is but I'm like fuck it let me just loot this lead X real quick but there is no lead X but then I hear him I'm like fuck I need to stop him this is a good thing you'll see landmark peak do this 
It was a hatchling, but um, even if that was a geared player, I would have peeked that because that they're not gonna expect you to peek for that. They're gonna they're gonna expect you to peek oh, from God, the door. The juicers are on the other side. See how I shut the door? I shut the door and I keep going. I can tell juices are coming here. Just moving my ass. I'm just moving as fast as possible. You don't want to fucking move slowly. Yeah, they're heading here. You can hear those Sounds fucking juices. Because they're shooting a lot. A lot of stims. No lead X though. footsteps so I hear those footsteps so I know there's somebody coming I don't know if you guys noticed that see I check it check the bottom floor peeking it don't hear anything but I know there's a guy coming in here so I push up I'm watching 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 I see somebody above He's on, second floor. he's on the second floor. He's on he's the second, on second floor. floor. He's like, I'm gonna find you again. Hey man, GG's dude, but like, yeah, no, I don't fuck with hatch runners. Oh, first target down. <clears throat> One second, it just paused. Switch to that. Oh fuck. But he happened to be oh, some SKS dude with a fucking redup. Don't know what the fuck that was. That was weird as fuck. We're just gonna ignore that, and I just like you know the fact. That I mean, don't take it. So trust like me, it. don't take it personally, my man. Um, but like, if I see a hatcher runner, I'm you best believe I'm gonna kill the fuck out of him. It's like killing a naked, you know what I mean? In Rust, you have to, you just have to. You know, you took, you you have less risk than me in this raid, so I don't want you like gobbling all the loot before I get a chance. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just a part of the game. You know what I mean? I hope the rest of your raids go better though. Just not the ones where I'm in them. <laughs> I'm gonna murder somebody in a second. Or die. We're gonna find out. Find out in a couple seconds. Will he die or will he live? He's been dying all day. Oh, S S S S, -S D, okay. We're definitely gonna put that away. Don't mind me. Alright, um seven and thirty-one. Or IFAC. Probably IFAC goes out here. S S D over here. Put the IFAC up here. What's in here? You hear those gunshots in oh the god. background. Oh god. Oh ammo. god, that's disgusting. That is disgusting. Look at that ammo was gross. God, I almost threw up. That was that was really gross. So thick. See I picked that in immediately. Run across. Peek from the left side. See how I, you're gonna see how I talked about earlier. I don't know if I did talk about it, but I clear it with the nade as I if open the door. There's somebody camping on that corner. They dead, kid. That might have been Sanator's guard. All the rooms. I feel like they killed like a juicer. You hear the gunshots? Instantly. I already know that's fucking first or second floor. Instantly. Instantly. I have to make sure I have my flashlight on. I go to check. I go to check uh, second floor first. That's usually where the fights are happening. It's an MP7. Knowing the sounds of guns just comes with experience. I hear something to my right. I also hear something to my left. I'm like, oh fuck. So I just run backwards. I know what I'm doing. 
And this is where I implement my flanking technique. Something that you can just use literally every time you're in a situation similar to this. Skip a little bit closer. Um, let's go back. Right there. So I get right here. You get here? Like, literally, I can make noise all the way up to here. The audio is so fucked that, like, they won't actually know where that is coming from. <laughs> Even though, like, the guy was literally in a room right fucking there. Like, a little bit to the right if you were to go in. I breathe a fucking... My breathing is fucking uneven. It's kind of a tense moment. I'm about to have contact. I don't know if you... <laughs> I thought I saw somebody. I thought I saw a shadow laying down looking at me. So I pre-fired that. But you can see his friend literally died in that clip. His friend literally just dropped by a raider. A raider dropped his friend and then he peeked out. And I just shot him in the back of the head. But literally the guy had no... Those guys had no idea I was there. Zero idea that I was there. At all. And that's just how it be. And this is a way. This is a way you can get raiders to push. If you throw a nade towards them. Sometimes they run forwards or run backwards. If you're lucky, they run forward and you shoot them. Like this one. He just ran straight into me. Easy clap. And uh, yeah, it was like a shit ton of loot. There was fucking M4s everywhere. The guy, dead. Buddy had an MP7. I had so much loot because I dropped my bag downstairs. You gotta remember. And oh my I, god, dude, this, this, so was, this was, this was, at do the end of the day, this like was... Like, one more, like, rig, it might give me, I might have enough space to fit some loot. That was all the loot. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fucking go to the next video. Just one second. Alright, so this is the next video, alright? And essentially, this is gonna show an, the other tech, there was a couple, there was this other technique that I showed you when you first enter East Wing, and I'm going to, it's gonna, I'm going to demonstrate that in this video. Just watch it. Next song after this... Do you have channel points, my friend? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Also, just another another you can't tip. Can't be like giving out so um doing song requests willy nilly now. Another another quick tip. I I, I don't know that it doesn't really describe it in the video very much. Every single time I use a PKO six, I zero it to fifty. All right, especially if I'm using a BP AKM because the bullets like to drop a little bit, especially longer range. Um, close range twenty five meters is good. But you 50 is good for everything. 50 is good for long range. 50 is good for short range. It won't let you down. 25 meters can get you fucked in long range situations, especially if you're full autoing. It, you'll be like, why are my bullets fucking headshotting him? And it'll be because it's at 25. Just quick, another, just another, some no, more knowledge. Just figure out. Put a um, my my next videos probably won't be as long because like all these little tips that I'm giving you in this first video. There's so much information in this first video. Um, they won't. I won't be giving them because, like, you should. If you've watched this video, then you'll get you'll get the information. You know what I mean? So let's we'll just continue to watch the video. Just wanted to drop that real quick. Can't be doing solo guys really nilly now, or else no one, or else you know, can't be showing. I can't show favoritism. trying to be careful I I can get shot from any angle at this point I'm very vulnerable but you see I'm doing this push instantly check that I hear somebody see I know someone and then I look I see the doors open so I throw a nade he runs out the door I saw him run out the door Instantly, I don't even bother. I just go right here, wait for him. Wait for his ass. Easy kill. Just an easy kill. That's just how it is. Like, he was worried about the loot. And if you're only worried about the loot, you're going to die. You gotta be focused on killing your enemy, your enemy targets. You gotta make, focus, on, focus on actually killing them. Like, he just went straight for the loot. And, it, I mean, I hope, the, I hope whatever he found in there was worth it. That he shoved up his ass, you know what I mean? That guy's right. like... He was quick to loot it. 
He looted those those so quick too. Also, I don't know if you just noticed what I just did there. I wiggled my head around when I'm opening a door. That's just so I can't get headshot. That's just literally just so I don't get headshot. Maybe they'll shoot me in the chest or something like that, but I don't want to get headshot. You know, I want to have a chance to survive it. Skip a bit further. No, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay. Right here. Right here. You'll hear the wood instantly. As soon as I hear that wood, I push that shit. Because I already know where they are. I already know where they are. I'm going straight for it. No hesitation. Knowing sound in this game is so, so, so vital, man. I do the little thing here. MA55 sucks unless it's a headshot, so that is what it is. He shoots randomly. I don't know if he was trying to scare me or something like that. <laughs> I'm just holding, because you can hold it. They have no idea where you're shooting from. That's another thing. No one expects this pit, this this thing. I'm literally giving away a fucking secret. Like, no one expects you to fucking peek from there. I check it. I'm sure other experienced players check it, but like there's you're not gonna no newer players are gonna fucking check that shit most people just don't check it in general they're not expecting it but see how i'm shooting i'm drawing their aggression i throw a nade then i run and at this point i'm literally already flanking i'm preparing to they're they're firing back they're trying to do they're terrified at this point you know you know when like in the movies you see like you know batman or something like that and he's fucking he's fucking with these people and they're like where are you or they're just shooting like in the direction where they think you are that's literally what that fucking was he's just firing back hoping that and they're throwing nades hoping they'll scare me or keep me at bay you know what i mean you can hear this right now i was a little sloppy on this one i kind of dropped the bag here he probably heard me drop he probably heard this i'm thinking Right above. He he was like right above me on this first floor, dude. Right above me. If he just came downstairs, he might have had a chance to get me. Because he had a BPA cam. He like checked his fucking firing mode. I was like, bruh. <laughs> but as I said, they heard me running. But they have no idea where I am. And this guy, he's like thinking I'm on first floor. So he, then he pushes on first floor. He pushes up. Because now he's confused. He's thinking maybe I'm still back like, on the other side. So he pushes all the way up to the other side. Okay? Therefore giving me a chance to push up on these stairs. His friend is still inside the hallway. Because I know there's two of them. His friend's still in there just hiding in a room. This is like why. So like it's like like if like um. I don't, I don't have the skill of, like, landmark, okay? So I can't just... Certain things, I can't just do some crazy shit, you know what I mean? But I can do this. I can use my tactical awareness and my actual just... Just be more cerebral than they are. And use that to win the fight. Know when to push. Know when to hold back. That's a, that's a, that's a skill in itself. Holding the angle. But then I hear, I'm like, fuck, dude, there's going to be two of them. See that crossover room that I showed you guys? Yeah, jump into that. They don't know I'm in this room, because they don't even know this probably opens the okay? game. Like, they probably didn't have any clue. And then this is Jiggle Peak. Jiggle Peak, just get a spot. See him. Eliminated. Target down. Now I'm holding. I'm still holding, waiting for that guy to peek, because I know he's gonna peek. His friend's like, dude, he's, dude, what the fuck, dude? Or something like that. You shoot. He hit me, though, and I was like, fuck. Did decent M80, by the way. That was M80 he was using. That's something, actually, I want to fucking point out. When you notice when I'm talking, you'll see Landmark, he'll do the same thing. He'll, t he'll heal, but he'll talk sometimes while he's healing to muffle the sound of him healing so that you don't hear him healing because a lot of times people will push will just push um if they hear you healing right so to cover that you do like an audible talking sound to cover it up that's just another move
<laughs> that was a sick laser, my man. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I didn't expect that to get. Sexy, I didn't expect to get that spray. Is insane. See that? That quick little movement. I know he's got a hunter, so I know he's got a. He can only do single shots, and so unless he's a laser, which he wasn't, he didn't even. He barely hit. He wasn't seeming like he was a laser, and he only would peek out for half a second. I knew I could draw his fire, get him to miss. With the hunter, it's weird. If you can get them to miss that first shot, it can. It usually fucks with their aim. I've been on the the other end when I have the hunter and I miss, and it's a feel. It's really demoralizing. Okay, so I just do that quick little juke, gets him to fire off a bullet. Then I go hug the wall. I know he's gonna wanna. I know he's gonna be like, damn it! I'm. How did I miss that? And he's gonna wanna peek wider. He's gonna be like, dude, I can kill him. And you just watch this. I continue to pre-fire. Lie down. See, everything I'm doing, everything I'm doing is like a tactical misdirection. I, 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 I you know, I move out, draw his fire, peek out, brr, brr, brr. he fucking comes back. I run closer, lay down. He's not gonna expect that. If he's not paying attention with his hearing, he's only focused on what he sees. He's just gonna be like peeking out in the same hole. It doesn't expect me to lie down. I have a flashlight, so it's even harder to aim for my head. Shoot at him. He unpeaks again. I stand back up, finish the job. Ooh. We're gonna do that one more time. I'm gonna show that one more time. Ooh. You gotta think very quickly. This comes with time and experience. All right, you gotta have to. You're gonna die a lot. Outplayed, my man. But don't give up. It's not about the fact that you're Hunter dying. Man. You're learning with Hunter every man. single death that you have. You will learn, right? Look at this pro strats right here. Pro strats. Yeah, I ended up leaving this raid with. Quite yeah, a I just pre-fired down the hall. That guy was like, "How did you see me Go down check the hallway?" Out the clip. It was actually. I was surprised I got you. I was like, "Shit!" I was like, "That was a nice spray." Speed through this. Yeah, I ended up leaving with another full. Not bag. Gonna, dude, I'm not gonna lie. That spray was kind of sexy because, like, I did not expect that to, to headshot you from that far. I literally went side. I went left and just sprayed as I went back right, and I just saw you fucking get splatted against the wall. I was like, bro, what? I was surprised. That was surprising. Did not expect that at all. That was. Fu also, also, yo, mad child, dude. Thanks for the fucking raid, bro. I much, I much appreciate it, my man. Also, if, like, I was zeroed at 25, I don't think I fucking kill him there. I don't think so. I was zeroed at 50. Don't forget that. PK06, 0 to 50. It works. Okay? Don't let anyone tell you any different. Don't let them Don't let them tell you any different, okay? Don't listen to them, okay? Okay? Like, maybe you'll have people that are, like, not used to using it at 25, but I'm telling you, it's way better to use it at fucking 50. If you're, if you, if you, especially if you're new to the game, just use it at 50. That way you don't have to worry about changing your style when you're using a, uh, an L laser M4 like that, you know what I mean? Like, every other site is literally at 50. Hollow site's 50. Like, almost everything except for the PKO 6, 6 is at 50. So, like, why use anything else at, other than, like, using 50 sighting range? You don't need anything less at the end of the day. You really don't. How was your stream, my man? Sounded towards loot. I got a pretty fat AKM. Pretty, but, uh, pretty, pretty sexy looking AKM. I always like the hot rod I cam. I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna juice this out because I don't like silence they cam. Silence they cams can't really laser anybody. Yeah. And I like to laser people. I don't care. I hope. Uh, are you get, Are you heading to sleep now or are you just chilling? Just chilling, hanging out. Yeah. Three p.m. Three kills. dead. I killed three. All right. Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna go into the end of this video and uh, we're gonna wrap this up. All right. So. After watching that, you'll definitely have had like an understanding of now how I approach. I love fighting in West Wing. It's actually easier to fight there than East Wing, than West, um, than East Wing, because with West Wing you can you have a lot more flanking areas. Okay. Um, the only other flank that I will consider um, that I'm going to tell you about East Wing, because with West Wing it's a lot more simple. You flank underneath, or you flank above. You flank through the main hallway. But here. There is no underground uh, hallway that you can enter. So, but the the one thing there is, okay, and then I'll show you guys one second, one second. This only really applies early in in game, early in game. So, say you're you enter through here and you're running in here, okay, and you hear someone 
you hear someone to your left and it sounds like they're just looting rooms and they're not trying to kill you they don't they don't sound like they're running to the window what i'll usually do in order to stop them okay is i'll run up the stairs and you want to run up these stairs really quickly because they're going to hear it and you want to run up these stairs and this is this is a technical flank this is another one of those flanks that you want to use Okay, every swap you want to aim at that door, because if he's smart, he'll run to that window, he'll run here, and he'll spray your ass down. Okay, you don't want to, you don't want to just approach it. Even when you open the door, you want to fucking jiggle peek that shit. Eat right here. Oh, some time's gonna run out. But yeah, when you come down the stairs, sometimes I'll listen. I'll listen for movement, okay? And if it sounds like they're underneath, well, yeah, if you hear any movement, you're not gonna be really able to distinguish where it's coming from exactly. But I'll listen for movement. Because if they're moving, they won't hear me in the stairwell that easily. Okay? If they're still, they'll hear me in the stairwell. But if they're moving and I'm moving, it plus me being in the stairwell, stairwell movement is just it's just the audio is so bad. So you just push down here. I'll usually jiggle check that. If they're not there, they're for sure second floor and you just prepare for battle. Like that's Make what you gotta do. Here, just run straight through here. And this is this is a way how I clear admin safely. Instead of going through that main hallway, that's dangerous. You check this. Oh, there's also a Letic spawn. Then you can push up through here, and this is way safe because you can check. You can check right above those stairs, right? Check there, and I usually run right through here. Check it again. Jiggle peek, hard peek, hard peek, hard peek all the way around this corner, waiting for people. There's sometimes people will be camping in here. You hard peek that shit, and then obviously check red card spawn. You don't want to stay here. You don't want to ever stop moving in this room. And then I always shut that door. Always. You never leave that door open so you can get shot in the head. It's a dumb. It's a dumb thing to do. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna run outside. And I'm gonna show you guys how to how I usually um go about shoreline. So don't just like run in a straight line. Running in straight lines is how you die. Always fucking like jiggle. Always jiggle. Always jiggle. It will keep you alive. Same with radio. If you're running near radio tower. Be advised, there's snipers there. So you gotta just make sure you keep your head wiggling whenever you're running out in the open. Alright? Um, always be worrying about your head and how much your head is exposed. Because your head is the, where, is, is the only place in your body you can get one shot, okay? So, when you have a place in your body that can get easily one shot, you want to protect that at all costs. Also be careful of people around there. Usually, if you're running... See, I've been sniped out with an M1A, okay? Okay? literally doing this they can't hit you you're literally unkillable as long as you're pain killed they'll hit your arm maybe maybe they'll get locked in your head but most of the time if you're just moving around like crazy you're not gonna get headshot you're, you're not gonna die and that's what you have to worry about right i come up here say from that swan we got around here you don't have to be worried about anything but say you came from this side you gotta be worried about people camping here people like to hang out for right here and they'll like to snipe from right here, boom, boom. They'll try to snipe on the hill. And if you're coming from this side, you gotta be worried about people on that side, on that hill, sniping from anywhere from over there, okay? Also, you gotta be worried about people down here. And people that are inside the gas station, I gotta be worried about people up here. Always be worried about these certain areas. Because these are areas people like to shoot you from because they're just, they're good areas. Look, think, look at this. I fucking can look down into the whole fucking thing. If you run out, I'm gonna fucking shoot you. I can look all the way down there, you know what I mean? And whenever you're pushing into pier, okay, this is the uh, this I think the last thing I really want to stress. I never go to gas station ever since they added the fire there. Waste of time. Don't go there. Waste of time. What I do always zigzag, and then when you're put crossing this, always look to the side, but don't go there. You want to go here. This is the best flank. If, you, if if you're trying to push people that are inside there, push here. You have cover the whole entire time. Throw a nade if you have one. Aim ADS. You know it's a small choke point. There's only there's only they can come over there over there that's the only place and then depending on how good you're feeling you can come from this side or even better from this side they can't shoot you they still can't shoot you when you're coming over here like they'll hear you and everything but literally just ads if someone comes up from here you have a clear line of sight on their head their head's gonna be the first thing that peeks out you know what i mean but uh yeah other than that, I think that's I think we've covered all the bases. All right. So what I think we can take from that is in Shoreline, it's um I've never I didn't really sh give it I didn't really show much of the loot. All right. You can go to a lot of you can go there's a lot of videos on the loot that you can find there, but there's not really any videos on how to survive that map and the ways that battle and f PVP works in those hall in, in those hallways. And I really hope that this video could 
show or give a little bit of insight into how the the audio and the pvp works i'm um i'm gonna be dropping another video probably i'm thinking either next one will be customs because that was like one of my favorite like starting maps and i know a lot of people play that map because they're new when the, like when you're a new player you play that map that map a lot so i feel like it might be helpful or woods because i feel like a lot of people are intimidated by woods but i would say woods is one of the easiest maps in the in the game so um stay tuned for that um if you uh, like the video please please leave a like um i appreciate it so much it will it will help so much with the video and um if you want to see more content or see this next video that's coming out please subscribe and uh, other than that um i will say peace out you guys and please check out my twitch you'll see the links in the descriptions at the end of this video peace